In a little more than 24 hours, Purdue will kick off against Western Michigan. But before that, the intramural field will be full of Boiler fans tailgating. So what could be better than having Purdue bread and fed meat as part of your pregame party? Well, that's the meat from none other than the Boilermaker Butcher Block you see in just a minute. And it looks like News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler is outside standing by the grill. Elizabeth. It's just before 6.30, and that means what better time than to throw some burgers and brats down on the grill. A yummy breakfast, maybe a different kind of breakfast for most of you. But I'll tell you what, when we get to the weekend and you're thinking about what you're going to do for the Purdue tailgate this weekend, you're going to be thanking me. We're joined by the Boilermaker Butcher Block, and I'm going to bring in Alan. He's the man in charge. Now, for some people who have maybe never heard of you, tell us a little bit about what you guys do over there. Well, the Butcher Block is part of our animal science department. Uh, it's a retail outlet for our meat science group, and uh, we, we sell to the public. Uh, this year, we're having a new initiative to provide meats for tailgating, convenient online purchase and delivery to the stadium for your tailgating needs. And that's right, you guys have been around since the 70s, but this year, you're trying something new when it comes to that convenient tailgating. Tell us a little bit about how it works. Well, anytime uh, up to Wednesday before the game, you can order online conveniently. We have uh, two kinds of bratwurst. We have beef and pork burgers. The meats are then delivered to two stations near Ross Aid Stadium, close to tailgating areas. And as a tailgater, you just come over, pick up your meat, go and put it on the grill, and and you're good to go. Now, why is this something that you guys decided you wanted to try this year? Well, our butcher block it really supports our teaching and outreach programs, and we wanted to get more recognition for, for those programs, give students more experience not only on the meat processing side, but also on the retail side. So this is one way to increase uh, how we move products and give more visibility to the butcher block. All right, so we're going to let this meat cook here for a little bit. We're going to toss it back to you, Alex. Be back out here in 15 or 20 minutes or so and tell you a little bit more about the meat you can actually buy at the Butcher Block. Alex, back to you. All right, sounds good, Elizabeth. Thank you very much.